There we go. Is that better? I blame Chaco. I don't know what happened. <laughs> All right. Hey, welcome back to Summit Sunrise. Now my mic is actually officially on. But I'm here with Chris and Kim from the Backstage Theater. Now, Chris is the artistic director at the Backstage Theater, and Kim DeLalo is one of the actresses in the show that's playing right now. And, uh, I, of course, I have a very special attachment to this show. You do. You which should, do you remember it? I I do. It was <laughs> just you, last weekend. Uh yeah, no, no. I'm not good on I'm not good on the <laughs> spot. What was your like favorite that. line? Um you know, my favorite I, maybe I'm not my favorite line, but my favorite story was about the Birkenstocks yeah, and uh and shoes and it, there's this whole story that relates to actually how my dog is named Chaco because I felt the same way in in the show, uh the women talk about how Birkenstocks are just gross and terrible. You don't want to be friends with people that wear Birkenstocks. And I yeah, felt the same right. way about Chaco Sandals when I moved here. And then conveniently, as state would have it, my dog is actually named Chaco, so I'm stuck with one for at least, hopefully, another 10 years. So anyway, Love, Loss, and What I Wore. Chris? Love, Loss, and What I Wore, uh, based on a book by Eileen Beckerman, adapted by Nora and Delia Efron. And uh, as you probably can tell, it's about women and clothes and memories and why we only wear black and all of that uh, told through the... Through the, uh, the uh, the gaze of, of five different women. Uh, every weekend we're going to have a different group of women, and uh, you were part of last last right. week's uh, collection of, of amazing actresses, and now we have a whole new group for this week. Right. It's, I think it's so... Uh, I'm excited to see it now, because now that I, I'm done with mine, I want to see how everybody else kind of interprets it and how the different experiences are. Now, Kim, we were discussing earlier, so this is, um, this is your first time on stage in quite some time, huh? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, last time I, I really did any kind of acting was in high school. Okay. And I did a little tiny uh, speech kind of thing in uh, in college, but really this is the first time I've acted since high school. So you yeah, know, a couple of years ago. What mm -hmm. made, right, of course. Yes. Yeah, like like 10, 5 50, to 7 10, 15 years like that. Ago. Yeah. Um so mm -hmm. what made you decide to do it? Well, <laughs> I'm not sure I was ever asked. I think, <laughs> Kim, what are you doing this weekend? Here, why don't you do this? And I'm like, oh, who can say no to Chris? Who can say you no to Chris? You can't say no. I know. I always know. carry it out. The out is always there. Yeah, yeah. But um, it, as you know, it's easy. It's relatively easy because exactly. you don't have to memorize a Correct. tremendous amount of material. Right. And you don't have to rehearse forever and ever and ever. Nope. Uh, you just have to show up and be your amazing, charming self. Right. Exactly. It, it, it actually sort of actually did come out of one of those first Fridays that the Backstage Theater hosted, which is uh, every First Friday, that's why they call it First Fridays, uh, women from the area just get together and it's kind of a social thing. It's very loosely organized. And the Backstage Theater actually organ uh, hosted one in, I think, May. And you had a woman come up from Denver. Edith Weiss, a stand-up comedian who's uh, acted on our stage and done, se done several uh, shows for us, came up to Pulled, facilitate it. Yeah, and so somehow my girlfriends chanted that I had to go on stage. <laughs> and I did, and it was really fun. And after that, he's been... Come on, and, and see, it really is. You can do it. I so know. Come see, on. you can do it. And and it really, truly is. As Chris was saying, this is um, it's a neat compilation of stories. So it's not like I'm playing just one character. So in that way, it's almost a little more difficult because I'm playing a couple of different characters yeah, and a couple of different mothers and different viewpoints that we all will do. But you don't have to memorize anything. Mm -hmm. So it's really it's it is a bit of a challenge to try to put yourself into. Okay, so what character can I relate to to make that flow through me when I'm reading the stories? And mm -hmm. I know you had the same thing. And yeah, it was it was pretty exciting. Cool. And I think as you found uh, last weekend, there's an immediate identification between the women in the audience mm -hmm. uh, and the women on stage, but as well as for the men too. Right. I, I was I was surprised and happily surprised yeah. that the men reacted as positively as they did with it. Yep. Uh, because people could look at it and think, ah, oh, well, this is just for women only, you know. But no. I'm, I'm here to tell you, men of some county that you can score some major brownie points <laughs> with the women in your lives Huge. if you come on out and see this show you'll learn something about the woman that you spend the most of your time with too right so it's a yep. really positive maybe thing get, maybe you'll get to understand her more as we were discussing in the car nice. with, with my 16 so. year old son <laughs> yeah <laughs> not understanding women mm. who terms women as impossible and i said dominic <laughs> you know at one point in your life really soon you're going to say they're amazingly impossible right. fabulously impossible you're going to qualify that <laughs> exactly uh, how, how you look at women right now yeah trust me it will happen a right. lot, a lot of things to learn, and it's it's a great time. It's so much fun, and um, I was I was shocked at at how <laughs> much people identified, and I think that there's really something for everyone in this show. Some kind of experience that you're going to be like, oh man, I had that same thing, like getting your first bra. Oh, 
Awful, <laughs> awful, awful. Anyway, how do people get tickets? Uh, best way to get tickets will be go online at backstagetheater.org. Uh, that's the least expensive way of getting tickets. We have a deal actually for today only through uh, Summit Daily News, the Steal the Deal, so you can get half price off tickets for tonight's performance. Nice. Okay. We're going up against a lot of activities going on in Breckenridge with the Uller Fest. Mm -hmm. So uh, we would love to encourage people to come on out tonight. We also have a special uh, discount on our on our specialty drink, the Lost Cause, oh. and uh, that'll be four dollar. Uh, Four dollars tonight for uh, mothers that bring their daughters, or daughters that bring their mothers, vice versa. Oh, I love so that's that. one way. You can also call four five three zero one nine nine, or you can uh, just walk up. The shows are at seven thirty tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday. Okay. And the doors open an hour before the performance. Now this is the only weekend we get to see Kim, right? That's right. She's only <laughs> okay. doing this weekend. Okay, yes. so if, so you better come out this weekend. Right. If you know Kim, and, and you tonight. love Kim. Come and, and right. see Kim because we we all you know we see you in different roles, oh, of course, around Breckenridge. You're kind of a bit of a local legend, if you will. Yeah. Yes. Um, and so it's exciting that you get to kind of see all these different women in different roles. And yeah. really quickly... If I can tonight, yeah. tell, we have Judy Phelan Hill, yes. who's coming back, and she played the role of Gingy last week. Uh, we have Lori Rambaud, who's playing actress number one, the Rosie O'Donnell track. We have Amy Russo, who's playing the uh, Katie Finnernan track. That's actress number three. And then we have Hannah Overton, who's a fabulous little young actress, just uh, uh, moved here from Kansas City. And she's playing the actress four track, which you played. Yes, nice. And now, of course, Kim. And... The, mm -hmm. Tonight, the fireworks start at 7 in Breckenridge, okay. so they'll be pl over. You'll be just right in the mode to come to the backstage theater after all of the Uller, Uller exactly. Fest festivities. We'll it's hold perfect. the show for anyone who's on the books already and haven't, hasn't shown up yet. We'll, we'll, perfect. we'll get ready for you. Okay, so go see the Uller Fest Parade, get some hot cocoa at TV8 Summit, and then meander on up to the backstage theater and see the show. You're going to love it. It's it a was, plan. That's the evening. It's so fun. I, yep, what do we do tomorrow? Out for you guys. Well, I could talk to you all morning about this because it's <laughs> we so <could> fun. Do. <laughs> but uh, we have some other things to do. Okay. So I'm going to let you guys go. But Thanks see you much. tonight. Come see Kim and, uh, and the rest of the crew this weekend. It's going to be a great show. Backstagetheater.org. And thank you guys for coming. Thank you. On. I appreciate it. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with A Basin. So stick around.